All right. Looks like it is uh, 11 o'clock here Central Time in Nashville, Tennessee, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Will Pepper, and I am a Territory Manager here at Omen Systems. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I, I'm really excited to have everybody here for our second virtual webinar. And this time we're going to be covering FMP Dispatch, so a different program. Uh, really excited to show you guys the power of it, look at more efficient processes and ways that we can improve your communication with low boys, with guys in the field, and overall just tracking of your equipment. So um, I appreciate your guys' time and, and uh, really excited to show you the program here today. So to go ahead and get started, uh, what we will do is just kind of go over webinar and make sure everybody's comfortable with the processes um, and, and with the program over here is you'll notice on your screen, uh, it'll have a few different areas like dashboard, audio, stuff like that. So the first point I want to uh, just kind of highlight is on the questions area. I realize we have it muted on the other side just uh, for the webinar sake so we can get through it, but we want to make this interactional. So uh, go ahead, ask questions. We want to uh, go ahead and go through those and answer them. Just so you know, we have an hour set aside for this time. It's not going to take that long to go through the program, but we wanted to set that up so we can have plenty of time for questions. So please ask away. This is your time. We want to make sure you uh, get all the questions in that you have. So uh, be filling those out as we're going through the webinar here. The next part that I want to say is um, over here, you'll notice, or at the top rather, there's a little orange arrow or orange or red, depending on how it looks on your screen. Um, that's just going to be able to minimize that uh, go to webinar little. Um, side over there. So we just want to make sure your screen's not blocked. You're able to see everything well. So you can click that arrow to minimize it or expand it, whatever you want to do. We just want to make sure you're aware of that. And lastly, on the webinar, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch a poll. And I'll actually be doing that. So what this poll is going to do is uh, just like all of our programs and with all of our uh, customers, we like to find out what your processes are. We like to learn and, and see uh, what your guys' current processes are and you know, maybe some areas we can help you improve in those and just improve that efficiency, which is ultimately how we create a dispatch. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this poll over here. So it's going to ask you um, a question here, basically what your current process is for being able to um, dispatch your equipment, your communication with your low boy driver. I think uh, we just found out we were disconnected, so sorry about that. Um, not sure exactly where it cut off, but uh, it looks like we at least got through the, the poll that we launched here. So really, um, just the final part was our history of our company. Um, like I said, for those who are not familiar with us, we've been in the construction industry for 135 years and uh, fifth generation family owned. So it's this experience of our processes that, um, that we are bringing to the table and uh, we wanted to be able to, to come up with programs that are going to make processes more efficient as well. So on this, um, this note, uh, we'll go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn it over to our other territory manager, Paul, and he is going to actually go through the program, kind of give a brief history of how we created it, and also talk about the benefits as well as going through the program itself. So um, he's also going to go over those poll results here. So I will go ahead and turn it over to Paul, and he will cover that. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Paul Jung. I'm one of the territory managers here at Omen Systems. Uh, we do appreciate you guys making some time to join us for this webinar this morning. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this poll and kind of see if everyone has any, some answers in. I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. So looks like a lot of the answers for our poll here. We got a little bit for whiteboard. Looks like a lot of you guys are doing some text message chains out there and also some phone calls. So if uh, that is your current process, this program should be able to enhance that communication without, uh, with, throughout your organization and then also make that uh, dispatcher's life a lot easier for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, screen full size here. And before we get too deep into the demo, I'd like to start off by kind of talking about what FMP Dispatch is and how it can benefit your operation um, for you guys out there. 
So FMP Dispatch is actually an add-on module within our FMP suite. And the purpose of this is to streamline your uh, dispatch and tracking of your equipment, as well as enhance communication between your dispatcher, your truck driver, and your foreman. So with this program, um, all your drivers will have to do is click the same button three times. And they would have to click that just to acknowledge that they got that, um, that they picked up the piece of equipment, and then they dropped off the piece of equipment at the final destination. And on the foreman side, it's going to uh, unlock some extra enhanced uh, features on the FMP mobile program. And some of those features are the ability to see a list of all the equipment they have on the job, as well as request a piece of equipment out from the field, and then uh, mark a piece of equipment available, which are uh, been used pretty heavily here since we have added those features within our dispatch program. And just a little history on how we uh, came up with the idea for this program is if you guys are client of ours that have worked with us, um, I'm sure you guys can uh, attest that we do like to take your ideas and considerations, some of the pain points you guys are having with that within your operation, and kind of see how we can be a solution on the software side for uh, some of those issues. So one day we did have a dinner with one of our clients, and they were kind of mentioning that they need help tracking and dispatching their equipment. And their current process was kind of no different from what we're seeing in the polls. A lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages. And then they also had a whiteboard system where they had magnetic tags, and they were moving one tag from one job to another job once it was getting dispatched. So our developers and our owners, you know, put their brains together, and FMP Dispatch is what came out from that uh, process. So if you can see my screen here, what you're looking at is my iPad. It is an iPad compatible app here. And on the screen, you're just looking at this visual representation of all our active projects within FMP Office. And all this data you are seeing is synced in from FMP Office, so you will never have to do any dual data entry as far as uh, you know, adding a project or adding a piece of equipment in mobile or dispatch, it's all going to sync from our FMP Office platform. So within all these projects, you're going to get a list of all your uh, equipment on those projects here. So we've got our uh, yard here on the left, as well as the shop here on the bottom, and then some active projects in blue, and our um, inactive projects here in gray, just in case you guys do have some equipment left on those jobs that you finished up. So to get started, what we're going to do is I'm going to start by showing you how the dispatchers are going to start that uh, dispatch process. And then I'm going to pull up the mobile app for uh, what it looks like for our truckers and then also what it's going to look like for your mobile uh, foreman in the field. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and choose this D8 Dozer demo version right here, 001B. And to move that piece of equipment, all I have to do as a dispatcher is press on it and long click and then just drag and drop it to the correct project I want to move it to. So for this demo, I'm going to move it to the Sitco Fallon App Job. As soon as you drop that piece of equipment into that project, you're going to get the equipment detail screen to pop up. And within this screen, we have three different tabs. We've got our equipment detail tab here, or the move tab, sorry, equipment info tab here in the middle, and the tab here on the right. So the first tab is going to give you your current location. So we're moving it from the yard, Powell Avenue yard, and then we're moving it to project 00001, Sitco Powell and Ave. And then you can assign a driver here at this location um, or this screen. However, as uh, personally, I like to save uh, assigning a driver um, for a couple of reasons, and I'll show you guys those reasons here in just a second. And then uh, finally on this tab, you got your notes here on the bottom that's going to sync back in with your uh, FMP office. If we swipe over, it's going to take us to our equipment info screen. And on this screen, it's going to be your, exactly what the tab says, your equipment info, from the make, the model, the year, when you guys purchased it, the class of equipment it is, as well as tracking your VIN number, weight, and tag. And then if we scroll over, uh, the last tab we're going to look at is our history tab here. So this is a nice, organized file of every piece of job that this equipment has touched. So this is really nice. I've had some dispatch customers using this, and they'll uh, print this as a report, FMP office report, to even hand off to some of their rental companies if they're tracking rental equipment. So to get this process going, I'm going to hit save and close here. And then as I mentioned earlier, I don't like to assign a driver, and I'll show you what I like to do. I'm going to hit this moves button here at the top of the screen, and it's going to take me to the move screen. 
On this screen, you're gonna get a list of all your scheduled uh, dispatch items here on the top, as well as a list of all your uh, drivers here, your low boy drivers here on the bottom. And you're gonna be able to see their workload. And this is the exact reason I did not like to assign a driver on the previous screen, just so I can see you know, who's got what on their plate for the day, if they're gonna be able to handle the capacity. And as you notice, it looks like every low boy driver here has a move assigned besides myself. So. FMP mobile program mirrored up from my iPhone, your drivers are going to get an instant notification saying they have a move assigned to them. So they'll hit OK. And your drivers are going to be dealing with this dispatch button here on the home screen of our FMP mobile program. If they click that and reload that data, you're going to get a list of all the moves that that uh, dispatcher has um, that he has to take care of. So as I mentioned, your driver only has to click three buttons throughout this entire process. And that button is going to be located right here within this yellow bar in that word acknowledge. So that first button that they're going to click is acknowledge. And that's going to go straight to our left here, back to our dispatch program to notify our dispatcher that the driver has acknowledged that move and is on the way to go get that piece of equipment. The next thing they'll do, once the driver arrives to the equipment to pick it up, he's going to hit pick up. Nice and simple. And then right away, you're going to get another notification on the dispatch side saying that piece of equipment has been picked up. And then finally, back to our MFMP mobile program on the right, once your driver gets to the final location, he's going to hit drop off. And it's going to clear off that list for him. And then the dispatcher, once he reloads his data on this screen, you'll see that driver is cleared up again and ready to be assigned some more moves. So now that we've seen what it, the communication looks like for our drivers, let's kind of see what it looks like for our foreman here. So back to the screen on the right, let's uh, imagine I'm no longer the driver, but I'm your foreman out in the field. They're gonna hit this project equipment uh, button here, and that's the feature that's gonna get unlocked once you guys get this dispatch uh, module. So if I click that, it's gonna take me to my dispatch screen here on the right. And you're gonna have three different tabs on this screen. You're gonna have your equipment tab here, your, your requested tab, and then your available tab. On the equipment tab, it's just a list of all the pieces of equipment that you have on that project. If I swipe over, to the requested tab, this is uh, where your foreman are gonna be able to request a piece of equipment from the dispatcher while they're out in the field. So in order to do so, they'll have to hit this request equipment button here at the bottom of the screen. So click that, and they'll get a drop down to select the equipment class. And I do like to mention that uh, the foreman are gonna be selecting equipment class. They're not gonna be selecting a specific piece of equipment. Um, for the reason that they're not gonna know what piece of equipment on which job, if it's available or not, they're just going to say they need a specific class. So let's say this uh, foreman needs a on the job. I'm going to hit save. And then back to the uh, dispatch side, we have that request that came in. So back on the left, if you guys can follow me here, we're going to hit this requ equipment request tab or button here at the top of the dispatch screen. And that's going to take us to a list of all the requested equipment from the field. And let me reload this data. You'll see this Dozer 300 has come in from that uh, from my FMP mobile side. So what I would do as a dispatcher is I would click that. It's going to bring up a list of all my uh, dozers. So I'm going to select a let me just put this Cat B3, and then it's going to pull up that exact screen we just were looking at a couple of minutes ago. This is going to be your dispatch screen. So we're going to hit save move. And then now that's going to enable your dispatcher to be able to look at that cat B3 and then assign it to that driver once again. And then the final ability on the back on the FP mobile side for your foreman here on the left is the ability to mark your piece of equipment available. So to do so, same thing, this is your requested button here. You can hit this uh, button here at the bottom of the screen, add available equipment. And I'm going to say this, 
loader is available now. And that's going to uh, make my uh, dispatcher have the ability to actually move that piece of equipment now instead of being locked up as a piece of equipment that's being moved. There is another way to mark a piece of equipment available. If you go back to the equipment tab. If you long press on a button here, so if I long press on this forklift, um, you can actually set that piece of equipment available with a long press feature if you like to do so. It might be a little time saving there for you. That is the communication back and forth from our dispatch program, as well as the drivers and our foreman. I'm gonna flip back to our dispatch program here on the side and stop mirroring our mobile program for a second. Refresh this data here. Go back to my project list feature. So we do have some filter functions within FMP dispatch to help uh, make your life dispatcher's life a lot easier. So the first one is this all class drop down here at the top of the screen. If they hit that drop down, it's going to give them a list of all the different equipment classes. So if I needed a dozer, I would select dozer, and it's going to narrow down to the project that I have a dozer on. So that way it's going to make it a lot easier for your dispatcher to find what equipment they need to move. And then also we do have a search feature in here. So that's, they can literally look up the equipment number, the uh, description, um, to make that a lot faster for them as well. The final thing I would like to look at is uh, some of the reporting capabilities that our dispatch program is going to enable for you guys. So if you click this uh, little printer icon here at the top right of the screen, you're going to see a couple different reports within our FMP dispatch program. You can see the open moves. You can see moves completed today, moves completed yesterday, as well as equipment list and uh, equipment list by location. So those are some of the reports within our program. And honestly, guys, this program is very simple to use. Um, I'm not a dispatcher, but I can get a hang of how to use this program. So I have no fears that you guys will as clients that are in the industry. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And we are going to open up this section of the webinar to our question portion. So I'm going to take a chance to uh, pause here and let you guys or fill out some questions that I can answer here for you guys. Here, if I can see all of them. So it looks like the first question is I don't need to track my rolling stock. Does that show up in dispatch? So that's a great question. Um, if you do not need to track your rolling stock, within FMP Office, there is the ability to exclude equipment classes from our dispatch program. So if you have in your database, say a Jeep or something else along those lines or a, a truck for your foreman, you can exclude that entire uh, equipment class and they won't even show up on our dispatch program. Let's see what other questions we have here. I see you were tracking your low boy, but how can I dispatch my dump trucks? That's actually a, a very exciting question because right now this program is tailored for your low boy. This is going to be able to move your heavy equipment. But right now, we are in development and have just started developing an FMP haul program that is going to be able to track your dump trucks as well as move your material. So be on the lookout for that, guys. That should be out early 2021. Let's see, next question here. Can I use this as a standalone program? So this program does need FMP Office as well as Dispatch. And the reason being is all this data you're looking at from your equipment to the projects are housed in our FMP Office program. That is where all the data is going to be in and pulled from. So you will need at least one license of our FMP Office program. But if you want to learn a little bit more about how to operate with that, uh, with our system with a couple of different field programs, if you already have something in place, you can always reach out to us and we'll kind of walk you through what that looks like. I think that's all the questions I'm seeing. Will, do you see any other and, questions uh, I'm I'll, missing? Yeah, actually, I had uh, uh, in the demo just emailed me a question as well. Okay. And uh, let's see, make sure I'm looking at the right email here. Um, yeah, okay. So they said uh, on the move screen, has those things called automatic moves. What are those? Great question. So right here is what this uh, individual is asking about. We have automatic moves here. 
And what that means is if a piece of equipment shows up to a project that the dispatcher did not move but gets hours associated to it within our FMP uh, mobile program, it's going to automatically move that piece of equipment in our dispatch program. So, for example, let's say you have two projects side by side. One gets done and someone moves a piece of equipment associate hours to that piece of equipment. That is going to launch an automatic move within our dispatch program. Does that make sense? Did I explain that pretty well? Guys, um, as you guys know, we do offer unlimited training with all our programs. So once you guys get up and going with this, we don't ever slap you on the back with the price tag and stay get going. Uh, we have a world-class support team here that always gets everybody fully integrated with every software we have and make sure they're comfortable before they go live with it. But to wrap up this uh, demo, guys, if you guys want to schedule a follow-up demo with your uh, 